In this video, we're going to make a lanyard using recycled rope, a carabiner, and a clip. We're going to tie it all together using a pressic hitch. Finally, we'll go out to the tree and put it to the test. Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. And what I like to do on my channel is share tree climbing tips with beginners and experts. I had a question asked of me if I could do a lanyard with just a couple of carabiners and a rope and nothing else no pulleys no friction cords no shizzle uh, and I was started thinking it through and I, I thought yeah I could probably do it with a couple of components I don't think I could do it with two carabiners because what I have in my mind um, I, one of the carabiners could sideload but I think I could make a lanyard with a clip and a carabiner and using a piece of rope so uh, let's get to it what I have here is a piece of rope I cut off of one of my climbing lines. It's one of my older lines, but it's in good condition still. I've whipped the ends just so I can continue to use it. Since it's a good line, I want to keep it. But just say like you went out to a job, you forgot your lanyard and you needed one. You had some things and you wanted to make one so you can get through the day. Um, this piece of rope's about 11 and a half feet. So um, I'm going to uncoil it. And what I'm going to do is I'll start with the carabiner side so on this side what I want to have is where my carabiner is not going to slide around so I'm going to use a double fisherman's bend there we go go back down on itself there's one that's two and then feed it right back through okay There we go. Now that's about three inches. This is a half inch line, so that's my minimum. What I want is about three inches. I'll tighten it up tight. Okay. So now that it's tight, the carabiner is not going to roll on me. And once I put more weight on it, it'll stay in place. So the next thing I'm going to do, I was mentioning about the carabiner side loading. If I, if I were to put a carabiner on this, then it would side load the way I plan on doing it and then and it would go to the minor axis so carabiner strength is in the major axis what I'll do is use this clip and there's no it's just a solid ring so there's no worry about it going to a side axis and having less strength so what I'll do is I'll put the other end through the ring of the snap and now I'm getting set up for my friction hitch now the friction hitch that I'm planning on using is going to be a pressic hitch. And the reason I, I wanted to do the pressic is it can go in two directions. And it, and it holds pretty good. So I'll need about six inches extra length because I'm going to need to make a stopper knot. And then from here, I'm going to stretch my arm out from the center of my chest and the length of my arm. And I think that might be around 45 inches or so. Now to make the pressic, I'm going to start here, I'm going to go over my line, and then I'm going to work back toward the clip. So I'll go one wrap, and then here, here's the second wrap. Now I'm going to go opposite side above the two wraps, and then I'm going to see how this, this piece goes this direction. I want my line to go the same direction. So I'm going to feed it through, make a, a wrap, and then I'll do one more wrap in that same direction. So here, and then I'm gonna have to work on snugging it up here. Tie dress and set it. So I'll grab these two pieces here, these two right here, and I'm gonna pull them tight. And at the same time, I'm working it to push the pressic together. As I wanna want it to be pretty tight. So it's a four wrap pressic. Now, if, if you make a lanyard like this, and you use four wraps and it slides, you could do uh, a six wrap. Um, it's just a little bit harder to, um, for the friction hitch to go up and down. So I've got that snugged on. And now what I'm gonna do with this tail, because we wanna make sure that it won't slide out of this. If it slides out, your knot can come undone. I'll make a double fisherman stopper knot. So to do that, I'll go one, two wraps, and then feed it back through itself. I took the wrong end, I think, because this is kind of bulky. There we go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
bring it as tight to the pressic as I can. As I really don't want it to slide on me. Okay. So. so now that I got it put together, what I want to do is we'll go out to the tree, connect it to my belt, and just put some weight on it and see if it holds. It's a it's just pretty much like an old-fashioned friction lanyard where it just feeds back through itself. This is the, the area that you're going to maneuver to give your length and shorten it. And this is a side for me that I'd keep connected to the, my, my belt most of the time. All right, so let's go to the tree and see if it works. All right. So um, when I do the um, my lanyard, I always put, because I'm a lefty, I like it on my left side. And this is a, the carabiner part. I plan on leaving it on um, the whole time. And since I have a clip here, this is going to be the part that I uh, take on and off. So if, if I'm going to go around a branch, if I'm climbing, I got my other rope installed already this is how i would connect so now with this pressic it's holding and it's doing pretty good but if if say it would if you did a four wrap pressic and it, it was running on you you could do a six wrap wrap pressic the thing is the more you put on the harder it is to maneuver and so the way the action that you would have on this if you wanted to have like um, more length you you grab it you have to go reach around and then you would this is kind of how you would get your more length. And, and if you want to make it shorter, you got to get closer and you, you pull it and then you can make it shorter. So, now this 11 foot, this is, this is the max short that you can get, you know, and then you wouldn't want to go all the way to the end to make it long because it would be kind of hard to um, get out of that. So that would be something that you'd want to watch out for too. Like, you know, I wouldn't want to go too close to your, to your, um, your ring here because the, the closer this is and it might get stuck at this part right here. So not, not too bad. It looks, looks like it's something that would be get me through a day. Um, I don't know if I would really like this. I, I moved away from this style of lanyard a, a while back ago because I really like to adjust from one side. Um, but let's see if we, it helps when I, when I um, hang. Let's see if we can hang on it. Hopefully it works. <laughs> So I'll go over to this side here and just throw it over. Clip it. And then I'll bring my hitch down a little. Yeah. So it, it can work this way. And as I mentioned, if, if you were to do one like this and you use a four wrap pressic and it didn't work with a four wrap, you could always use a six wrap. Anyhow, my take on making a lanyard with just a couple of components, a, a carabiner, and a double locking clip, and 11 and a half foot of rope. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on this lanyard from a clip and a carabiner. Uh, we also have a couple of videos on lanyards we created. We have one, a two-in-one lanyard, and also a lightweight lanyard. It'll be on the description below. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. And by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.